Hi, James. How are you? Fine, Suki. How are you? I'm doing great, James. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. I've been to the gym. I've had a good breakfast, and I'm talking with you. Look, look at you, James. You've done more than most people already. <laughs> You're a go-getter. You're the kind of person I talk about to my son. I'm like, get up. Let's get going. Let's get the day started. Let's crush it. <laughs> Oh, man. It's all fun and games until couples get eliminated in the new 90 Day Fiance series. It's called Love Games. Today, I have six time Emmy, Emmy winner and host of the new elimination style game show, Suki, also known as Sukanya Krishnan. Hi, how Thank are you? Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. I'm so excited to be here and so excited for the world to get to know this show and, and the fascination with 90 Day Fiance. And if you haven't tried it, you've got to just. Stick your teeth into it. Well, tell us about this new game, Love Games. All right, so Love Games uh, takes all your favorite couples from the 90 Day Fiance franchise, and it's just another twist in uh, the whole 90 Day obsession. And so we check in on couples from different seasons, one, two, three, four, and we mix it up into a game show format. I am the host, and uh, we get to ask different questions and move through the rounds until ultimately, Somebody wins the ultimate bragging rights, which is the Love Games trophy. And let me tell you, all of these people are a little vicious because when you put a show that's competitive in a group of people that have already laid their life out and their love story out, they want to prove to America that they're the real deal. Wow. Uh, so speaking of which, when you talk about the real deal and, and there's a lot of fierceness here, uh, how much competition, uh, especially with the couples, and then what happens when a couple loses? What happens to that couple? They get really upset. <laughs> 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 they get really angry at each other because a lot of this is just, you know, it's like questions that you would ask a spouse, right? Things that you would know, anniversary, favorite color, you know, like uh, really mundane questions. And sometimes these people don't really know each other as well as they thought they did. Um, and it's kind of incredible because they've struggled through, you know, cultural differences, language differences, uh, religious differences to create and solidify their love here in this country. But yet, you know, maybe some of the simple stuff that they really haven't kind of figured it out. And you know what? You always love a little language difference because that always adds to the fun of, of a question. And, uh, you know, especially some of the, you know, the sexier questions, a little more bedroom questions, if you know what I mean. You know what? I was thinking about that. I was like, do you guys, how personal do you get with these people? You just explained it. That is interesting. Any fun yeah. stuff? Any fun stuff? Uh, yeah, it's all fun. I mean, the reality, the, the whole genre of what is 90 Day Fiance, it is just completely overwhelming. It envelops you. You know, you, you kind of latch on to these people in their stories, uh, whether it's Colt, uh, whether it's Darcy whether it's Evelyn and Corey, uh, whether it's Sinjin. I, it, there's all of these different love stories about people struggling and, and you know, they've been brave enough to share it with us. So because of their bravery, you, you, you're invested in, in, in the story and you want them to succeed. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I think there's a lot of love. There's a lot of fun. Uh, and sometimes there's a little bit of cheating that's going on that we get to call it out on. <laughs> I don't, you know, the funniest part is everyone's so paranoid. They're so competitive that like there was an instance where I saw her making some eye comments, you know, looking at giving her husband the side eye, like a message. And I'm like, really? I didn't see that, but okay. We'll have to go to our judges, review the tape and then come back. So there's a lot of competition that's involved in this. It sounds like it. Love Games on Discovery Plus, is that right? It's Love Games. It's on Discovery Plus. And every Monday, you can enjoy a little binge drop, which means that there are three episodes, uh, new episodes that are there every week until we get to the Love Games trophy. Listen, Discovery Plus is a new streaming platform. If you haven't tried it, you need to because it has all your favorite shows in one place, whether it's TLC, whether it's Food Network, whether it is HGTV, all your fan favorite things that you just love to have on in your house. I am guilty. It is something for everyone in the family. So get it. It's a new streaming service. It's called Discovery Plus. It's $4.99. 
Skip the latte. Get Discovery Plus. That's what I'm saying. All right, Suki, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. I want to hear some of the personal stuff, so I'm going to tune in for that. I love personal stuff. <laughs> yeah, we go there. <laughs> Thanks again. You got it.